afterward. She's a lovely girl, I'm sorry. And said, Dad, that is so lame. Nobody sends postcards anymore. <laughs> she may be right. At least none of her friends do. But being from the UN, of course, I'm resilient. I said, you know, snotty teenager, that cell phone to which you are surgically attached. Every international phone call, every international text, every email that you send, is possible due to the work of the UN's International Telecommunications Union. Score one for the older generation. So there, in a relatively painless way, hopefully I'm giving you the sense of what the UN is doing every day to make a globalizing world function in ways that we really don't even sense or appreciate. And I pulled this again this afternoon. Any non-Americans in the audience, you have to cover your ears at this point, because all of these guidelines and best practices and standards that are being promulgated throughout the UN's specialized agencies, I'll pick my favorite capital because it rolls so trippingly off the tongue, they weren't developed in Bujumbura, Burundi. They were developed here in the West because these are matters that we've grappled with for decades, painful lessons learned that we can share with the rest of the international community as the world advances and develops and deals with the issues that we've dealt with. So they're going to be guidelines and policies and practices very familiar to us here in the United States.